We got everybody sat down, that's great. Some of you made a really bad mistake as cedar goers. Those seats are real cheap seats up in the far corners and these are real expensive seats. In the future, these are the $60 to $80 seats and those are the $10 and $15 seats. So just rem remember when you go to theater, the best seats are where you can hear and see the best. So that's just for your future. Now, This is a dying art theater because it's not like movies and it's not like television and there's no retakes, it's live. And the actors spend a lot of time learning their lines and trying to make it come to life for you as theater goers. So it's an actual breathing, it's like a dance. And so it isn't something where you can just hit a switch or talk to your neighbor or so forth, you actually have an engagement. Do you understand what I mean when I say engagement? Yep. So, um, First off, I want to know if anybody doesn't feel capable of that right now, they can leave. Who does not feel capable of doing that kind of engagement and watching and, and working with the theater doors? Like right here, you guys. Are you guys going to be able to do that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, what happens in theater is that when, when people take this time to learn their lines is there's actually a plot. And in a murder mystery like this, you actually try to guess who the murderer is by using clues from the play. So it takes some attention and some concentration. Also, there's some jokes in it, so the appropriate thing to do when there's a joke is to laugh. laugh. But not too loud and not too long, because if you laugh too loud and too long, like right now, you miss the next lines. So you have a job and they have a job. Your job is to make them come to life for you, which is really fun. And their job is to give you entertainment, which is fun for them, too. And I hope it really works that way. Now, let's get on with the play. This is Maniac Manor. There has been a murder in the Buffington Manor. The police are baffled. Of course, it will take a private detective agency to solve this. And we have a young heroine, Alex Scott, who has just started the Fearless Detective Agency. She will have to come to Buffington Manor, see all the weird people that live there, and figure out who the killer is. And I'm kind of wondering if you're going to be able to figure it out by the end, too. So without further ado, let's give them a hand to get started. Yes, I should get it for your 
straight away. <laughs> Coco 
Coca-Cola, miss. Thank you. <laughs> Just know it. 